Hey, good evening, sports fans. I'm sports director Mo Carter along with Kurt Narosky here inside the Rose Bowl Stadium, the site for the 2014 BCS National Title Game as the Auburn Tigers take on the Florida State Seminoles. Kirk, Auburn and Florida State have taken different paths to get here, but hey, they found ways to win and they finally made their way here and somebody's going to be hoisting the BCS National Championship Trophy tonight. You're right, Mo. You know the Seminoles are undefeated. Auburn enters this game with one loss, but both are conference champions. Now the key thing for both of these teams is, of course, what they are very good at, what they are successful at. For Auburn, it is that rushing attack, that play-action offense. Hurry up, no huddle with Gus Malzahn. For Florida State, well, it's all about Jameis Winston and their offense as well, Mo. And you know what? Both head coaches are focusing on the opposition's main reasons at why they could possibly leave here with a championship. The key is you have to know what your assignment is, be disciplined, trust your eyes, and, and not vary from that, have the discipline to keep your eyes where you need to be so you can play with technique and use your abilities. And they do a great job of, of disguising all the things they do. The bottom line is you've got to keep them off balance, and that's a huge challenge. Um, you know, they've uh, been machine-like on offense. Uh, they run it well. Uh, they throw it well. Uh, you know, they got NFL wide receivers that uh, put people in one-on-one -on -one situations. So, um, you know, Coach Ellis Johnson is one of the best in the business. Uh, he's been in big games before. He's got a very good plan, and uh, we'll just have to do our best to try to keep him off balance. Now both of those strengths, of course, are going to be a key focus for each of these teams heading into tonight's game. But when we shift things now to the Auburn Tigers, this rushing attack, this offensive attack, as well as their defense, really both sides of the football, they really have to key in on the opposition of the Florida State Seminoles. And if you sit down and ask the players, they know what they need to do to get the job done. Like Coach Grimes says every week, uh, we're going to put the saddles on your back and we're going to ride you all to the end of the game. And um, we've just done that and stuck to it. And, um, you know, why stop it when, it, you know, when it's working? We definitely want to uh, put pressure on this quarterback, you know, really, um, you know, really affect his decisions, and uh, that's what we're working to do. Reese Dismukes and D Ford are key guys on both of their sides of the ball, Mo, and it really comes down to this Auburn Tigers offense, rushing attack, as well as D Ford and that defensive line really keying in on Jameis Winston. Yes, the Auburn, um, the Auburn offense and defense is going to be with the big men who have to make the big difference tonight, mainly because they're going to have to control the line of scrimmage. The Auburn offense, they're going to have to utilize Trey Mason. He's going to get all his touches tonight, continue to wear down that great Florida State defense. Then on the other defense, Florida, I mean, not Florida State, it's Auburn's defense. They just have to find a way to halt Jameis Winston and Florida State's high-powered offense. A lot to look forward to tonight. Of course, Mo, we'll see if the Auburn Tigers can bring SEC another title. Yes, sir. Well, that does it from the Rose Bowl Stadium. Let's send it back to everyone back in Montgomery in the studio.